Hello. How is everybody? I'm back. Yes, I know. I'm back. It happens. Hopefully, I remembered to put this in black and white. We'll, we'll see. Um, and hopefully, I can manage to edit it down enough that the fans, the multiple fans in the room with me, do not completely drown everything out. Anyway, I'm still doing my revolution stuff and I've got keep it fresh which is an e teeny tiny winky nine pan all in greens and silvers and 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 I did green and silver because I did Anyway, I'm going to, this one's going to be fairly quick, just because it's hot. It's not nearly as hot as it was, thank goodness. At the time I am doing this, it is 98 degrees in my lovely little town. And that's considerably cooler than it was just a couple of days ago. We were up over 103 a couple of days ago. So, yeah, it was pretty nasty. And then yesterday we had thunderstorms and some rain. And it cooled down significantly. Thank goodness. Um, I've got my fingers crossed for the people in Lighten in British Columbia, Canada. They got up over 121 on the Fahrenheit. We are talking the Fahrenheit scale for anybody who hasn't figured out what these kind of numbers we're talking Fahrenheit. And the area around that town basically has turned into a huge wildfire. I'm crossing my fingers for people. I'm hoping they can get some, some firefighters in there and deal with it. It's like this has been horrendous. Just awful. It's like a lot of houses in the Pacific Northwest, because it's normally very cool comparatively they don't have air conditioners standard they just don't and our house does not have air conditioners standard we have a couple of window units we've got one upstairs on the top floor with the two bedrooms up there because one of the bedrooms up there is our grandson who has a habit of fevers and or being too hot setting off seizures so we're trying to keep him cool and my daughter-in-law who is very ill in case you haven't paid attention to any of the other ones where I've mentioned she's very ill. They've got one down there to try to keep her cool. Now, normally, the hubs and I, we manage to just, yeah, the, the summer gets a little warm. We keep the lights off. We keep the um, curtains drawn. We put a few fans in and yeah it's a little warm but it's not horrendous okay okay for several nights this week we have barely been able to sleep because it's so hot even at night normally in an area where it's even just partly in the desert zone there can be like a 30 degree drop 
overnight, and we weren't getting it. It was absolutely horrific, constantly. I have spent more time in the bathroom in a cold shower than I have in years. Do with that what you will. Anyway, I'm this much closer to the book. I have two people who are currently looking at the current draft and reading for edit, among other things. So we will see how that goes. And I have been looking at Ingram Spark. Ingram Spark would allow me to do the ebook and a paperback version with one package. The audiobook will be separate anyway, and that will probably go up through audiobooks on on Amazon through Kindle and such. That one will be a little later. But if I do the paperback and ebook bundle through Ingram, it will still be on Amazon because they sell on Amazon. Um, but it also means that the paperbacks will be available to be picked up at other bookstore types. You know, like regular brick and mortar bookstores, which means you can get a hard copy. I'm crossing my fingers this works. If it does not work out correctly, then, then, then I will be doing my initial the way I originally thought I was going to be doing it, which is through the Kindle um, direct publish. We shall see. We shall see. I still have a few minutes, you know. Anyway, let's get ready for some putting on of makeup and a little music. And I'll see you on the other side.
Alrighty. Here we have glorious Technicolor. I've got a combo of the Elf Camo CC Cream and a little squirt of the Elf Serum Foundation. I kind of mixed them together. Because the CC Cream can be a little thick. I put on the Revolution Primer on the eyes first. I've got... Let's see, Model Co. Intense Brows, medium, light medium on the eye brow. I've got, what else have I got? I did, I did CC Colors Natural Glow Face Palette for a little bit of bronze, a little bit of blush, and the rather gleamy shiny highlight. And I've got, which one is this? Okay, Physicians Formula Healthy Lip Velvet Finish, and I love this stuff. And this one is in Coral Minerals. I love this stuff. It's so freaking comfortable. And I got it on a huge sale. And I've been using it and using it and using it. I got three of them on a huge sale from Rite Aid. And I'm still using it and still... I've been using this for going on a year now. And all three of them are still good. They're still wonderful. They apply beautifully. They're comfortable as heck. Absolutely delightful. I've started working more on my website for the book. I've started working on podcasts for the website for the book. I'm going to put up a Patreon page where I will be putting sneak bits of chapters up. Um, as soon as we can get the voice actor set up and doing the voice work. We will put a few sneak bits of that up. We will see how this goes. I am crossing my fingers that my secondary deadline, which is the end of July, will hit the target. Everybody cross your fingers. Anyway, this is the green look. Keep it fresh is the palette. It's from the Obsession line from Revolution. So there you go. I had fun playing with it. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have any really deep color. All of them are... Yeah, I've got the deepest thing that they've got on my eyes in the outer corner, and that is not a dark color. So, yeah. They've got two different silvers, one that's this really pale white silver and the other one is more of a gray but it's more chunky. I wasn't going there. But there you go. Even have thematic earrings. 
these are some of the ones that I made for myself. Got the plastic plugs and you know, the plastic tunnels and attached the earrings. They were little cheap ass earrings. So, you know, off I went. Anyway, there we are. Stay out of trouble. As of the 30th, Oregon has lifted the majority of its ban on going around without a mask. There's still some of the companies around here and like doctor's offices that are saying put the mask on. The keep your distance restrictions have been lifted by state regulation. If it's a federal situation like an airport or something like that, you are still under federal restriction. But Oregon is starting to open up again. And I'm going, woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. In the meantime, depending on where you are and what the, the regulations are, where you are, mind your manners, keep your distance, wear your mask if you're supposed to. Most of the stores around here are t still saying, if you have not been vaccinated, put the mask on. Get your vaccine if you have not. Don't start no trouble that don't need started. Remember, I don't have bail money. No, really, I don't have bail money. <laughs> Maybe once I become rich and famous as an author. <laughs> anyway. Be good.